Tomorrow is Veterans Day when we celebrate our brave servicemen and women. And there's another group of veterans that deserves some love too, military dogs. Stephanie Ramos, a U.S. Army Reserve Major, has a story about one dog and her trainer. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning, George. As an active duty reservist, I can tell you Veterans Day is so special, so meaningful. We appreciate the recognition. And as you said, we also appreciate our military dogs. This morning, we are going to introduce you to Staff Sergeant Thomas Watkins, who will be reunited with his military dog that he hasn't seen in about three and a half years. But before we do that, here's their story. He can't fly like Superdog. My dog's the best. Or shoot baskets like Air Bud. But retired military dog Black oh boy. can certainly fetch. Black, named after the old English term for black or inky, had some ink stains on his reputation for being a tough dog to handle. That was the issue that they were having. And so my kennel master um, pulled me in his office and was like, hey, man, I know you're a new handler, but I feel like you're you're up to this challenge. And he was right. We just connected right off the bat. We truly understood each other. Another handler was out there with me and he was like, man, like I just never seen this dog be so affectionate towards someone. Staff Sergeant Thomas Watkins and Black became a standout team. It's such a, a beautiful experience, especially when you get a dog that has issues and then you connect with that dog and you get that dog to where they need to be. It's just such an awesome and rewarding experience. The rest of the two and a half years that I worked in from deployment, secret service missions all over the world, we had no issues whatsoever. But duty stations are not permanent. When Thomas was transferred, Black was difficult for other handlers to manage. It wasn't looking good for Black. Enter Project Canine Hero, an organization dedicated to rehabilitating military working dogs. It was a game changer. They were able to provide him everything that he needed. And because of that, Watkins had the chance to adopt his old buddy. I'm so thankful for those guys out there that they were able to take him in and hold him until I got to a place to where I can truly take care of him and allow him to just be a dog in his retirement. And I have a lot of overwhelming mixed emotions just to see how he's going to react, if, if he's going to recognize me, if, if he isn't. God placed Black into my life, and I'm so thankful for that dog, and that's why I'm excited to actually bring him home with me and live out his life. Back here in Tennessee with Thomas. Thomas, thank you so much for sharing your story with DNA. You flew here from Texas to yes, be sir. reunited with Black. It's been a few years. How have you? How are you feeling? Uh, I'm I'm overwhelmed with with happiness. Uh, that dog is dear to my heart and he he made me the handler and trainer that i am today so to be here and to be around everyone and be able to see my dog after it's been three and a half years i'm, I'm so happy to come to you yes ma'am yeah i'm so excited for you so for those that aren't familiar with this type of partnership talk to us about how special that bond is between the military dog and its trainer it's it's a special bond um not many people in the DOD get to experience a bond between a dog and a handler. Um, we train day in and day out, and like I said, it's not a Monday through Friday job, it's a Monday through Sunday job. We go through intense, intensive training uh, to get these dogs to where they need to be so that we can deploy and go on secret service missions and also defend the installations that we're, we're protecting. Yeah, it's a 24-7 job. Absolutely. And you've done it, and here we are, and we're not going to keep you from this reunion okay. any longer. But before we bring Black out here, we do want to acknowledge that not only is this live TV, but animals can be a little unpredictable. So Black could be really excited to see all of us here or really shy. But yes, either way, this moment is about you and Black finally reuniting and being together. So Jason, the founder of Project K9 Hero, is going to bring Black out here. Thomas, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Yes! Okay, you guys ready? We are all ready for this moment. Jason, we are ready Black. for Black. Come on out Black. here. There he is. Black. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Hi. Woo! Hey. What's up, man? Hey, what's Good job. You? Hi, buddy. Hi. Good boy. Oh, hey. Oh, 
Oh, Thomas, how Good are you job. feeling? I'm overwhelmed. It, like I said, it looks like he hasn't skipped a beat. So <laughs> he's happy. He looks healthy, and I'm I'm just glad to be here right now. Yeah. Does, it, does he look the same? Does he? Oh yeah, he's got a little bit more gray, you know, with age. But other than that, he, he looks exactly how I left him, which is good. So. So neat, Jason. Yes. You're, you founded Project K90 Hero for moments like these. You wanted to find forever homes for military dogs. Just tell us, how does it feel to, to make Thomas's dreams come true right here on your grounds? Yeah, absolutely. As a non national nonprofit organization, you know, military working dogs of Lex sometimes don't have a home. Uh, Black was scheduled to be euthanized after his service because no one could adopt him. Thomas wasn't able to. We were able to keep him alive here for 18 months at a rehabilitation rehoming facility here in Tennessee. Is what our non project, our, our, our project does. You know, we try to make sure these guys have a home. They raised their paw to serve our country, and Project Canine Hero is there to protect them after they protected us. Absolutely. I mean, he looks happy, he looks healthy, he's done a great job here. Thomas, how, how does it feel to finally be reunited? I'm so thankful for Jason and the foundation and allowing them to give Black an opportunity for a second chance and to take care of him until I was able to. Um, while I was in the military, I didn't have the facilities to, to hold him or to take care of him. And now that I'm out of the military, I had that opportunity. So I'm just thankful and blessed to be here and to be able to take my dog home. We are so happy for you. So, you. Thomas, you knew this morning that you were being reunited with Black, but what you didn't know is that the good news is not stopped there. Uh -huh. So Project K9 Hero wants to make sure that you and Black are set up for lifelong wow. success. So not only are they covering all of Black's food for the rest of his life, but they're also covering all of his veterinary care. So thank you so much, Project awesome. K9 Hero, for doing that for Thomas and Black. How do you feel? What do you think? I, I'm just so overwhelmed with emotion. I never thought that this would happen the way that it did, but I'm so thankful and grateful for Jason and the Project K9 Hero Foundation. So you want to make sure that you have time to just focus on that special bond and spend time together, play fetch, and just have a good time. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, guys, we are going to spend a little time with Black. Get a little acquainted here. Oh, We're going to send it right back over that was here. So How can you awesome. not have a tear in your eye after this story? Fantastic. I love oh. that his care is covered and his food. Well, they're going to need a lot for those treats. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Black <laughs> <Yes. laughs> yeah. like is already very well fed. <laughs> and then you have the option to adopt. Uh, it's which fantastic. Makes it so yeah. I didn't know that about these dogs. That's, uh, and I'm so glad that we have the number to learn more about mm -hmm. Project Canine Hero. It's important. I think someone's going to be involved in Project Canine Hero. <laughs> <laughs> if it's Let's about a dog, it's about Lara. <laughs> Let's give you the number right now. Just scan that uh, QR code on your screen for more information. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.